Hi everyone. We are excited to share with you more than 20 sample applications that are designed to help you accelerate app development for Qualcomm Linux. These easy to use sample applications are readily available as part of the Qualcomm Intelligent Multimedia Product SDK, which is a part of Qualcomm Linux distribution. You can also find these sample applications on CodeLinero. Let's learn how Qualcomm Linux can help you take in multiple camera streams and display those on a UI or encode into a MP4 file. It helps you to start our discussion with GStreamer, which is an open source framework for creating streaming multimedia applications. As a developer, you can build apps that use standard GStreamer plugins to abstract operations of the underlying camera subsystem. To jumpstart your development, we provide a few key components. First, there is a camera plugin, QTI QMMF Source, which is a GStreamer plugin that helps you capture a live stream from the camera subsystem. Next, we have the Qualcomm proprietary camera core software, which provides the interface to develop advanced features such as incorporating custom camera sensor driver, implementing custom camera tuning workflows, and customizing software nodes. And finally, we have the camera core driver in the downstream Linux kernel. Now, let's explore the multi-camera sample app in some detail. It is designed to demonstrate two main features. First, simultaneous display of live camera feed from two cameras. Second, encoding of two camera feeds into an MP4 with H.264 codec. It works as a command line application that streams from two camera sensors on the Qualcomm Robotics RB3 Gen 2 kit, making it ideal for the use cases such as dash camera or stereo cameras. We will now look at the end-to-end -end pipeline for two different use cases of a multi-camera application. First, video composition from two video feeds and then video encoding. For the video composition use case, the video is first captured from the feeds of both the cameras using QTI QMMF source. Then the QTI V Composer produces a composite video stream which is sent to the VLAN display sync for live preview. In the video encoding pipeline, the first two steps are similar. Video is captured from the camera feed via QTI QMMF source plugin. After that, the video is encoded into the H.264 format using V4L2H264 encoder and it's parsed using H.264 parse plugin. The parsed video stream is multiplexed into an MP4 container using MP4 MUX plugin. And finally, the processed video data is written to a file using FileSync plugin. Based on the use case, you will have two types of output. If the output type is display, you can preview the video streams on the display. If the output type is video encoding, the output will be written into a file on the device. For more details, you can check the help section of the application. We are now ready to run the sample application. Here is the application in action. In this split screen view, you can see live feeds from two different cameras from the RB3 Gen 2 device, camera 0 and camera 1. In the display on the left, we can see the main camera device showing a polychromatic video feed. This is camera 0. On the other display on the right shows a monochromatic video feed from the secondary camera or camera 1. We hope you are ready to take your understanding of the multi-camera application to the next level and start developing your own applications for Qualcomm Linux. Please check out the documentation for Qualcomm Linux, the Qualcomm Intelligent Multimedia SDK and the sample apps on our portal. 
You can also access the source code for the sample apps hosted on Codely Narrow. Thank you for watching.